All right, we are. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Chakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Citations uh, to the hopeful elect. So this video is going to be entitled The Earth Mourneth and Fadeth Away, right? Because currently we are in Esau's rulership. And we know that Esau is the wicked, according to the Bible, right? Okay. And the first piece that we're going to start off with, Brother Nawak is going to bring it out. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Mm -hmm. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, where and who is he? You know, the wicked is ruling today because we see all of the evils that are going on right now. Okay? And we know that he's covered up the faces of the judges. Yahweh Shai being the, the most highest judge, he's covered up his face. He's covered up the, the angels. He's covered up all of the apostles and and uh and all of the uh, the men of old as if he is those uh those people mm -hmm. yeah you, you got all these um these pictures of edomites yeah right as the men of the bible uh you look up peter uh, paul hey yahweh shy man you, you 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 look up uh what they call them in the world and you see edomites if you go to google and you type in uh jesus what do you see you see a, a, a so-called white man right. so he covered the faces of the judges and he had, uh, he has made people to believe that the people that are in the heavens they they look exactly like him but in reality they look like men of of, of first of all men of stature right men of, of woolly hair and they have bronze type skin uh, if you want to get that in ezekiel right uh, you know what that is? Uh, where that is, Dwada? Uh, Coals of fire. Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel, the first chapter. The verse. I got that Malachi 1, too. Okay. You want, which one you want first? Get that um, Ezekiel first. This is uh, Ezekiel 1 and 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Mm -hmm. A cloud, meaning a gigantic UFO. Cherry. Yep. And a fire enfolding itself. That's the lights from the chariot. And a brightness was about it. Again, those lights. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, which is brown lights, out of the midst of the fire. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. So Ezekiel is receiving a vision of the chariot, and he's seeing four angels coming out of the chariot. That's, that's what it means by four living creatures, four angels. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. And every one had four faces, and every one had four wings. And he's actually seeing this. They actually have four faces. But all those four, uh, faces have a meaning behind them. <clears throat> Verse 7. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, meaning clothes mm. footed. So they had on what you would call ninja boots, if you will. Basically, the big toe is split off from the rest of the... Uh, Four digits or your toes. If you type in ninja boots or clothing footed boots on the in, boots on the internet, you're gonna see exactly how it looks. Mm -hmm. Verse seven. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Mm -hmm. hey, the angels they have a, <clears throat> because they have that great wisdom, you know. And it says as the color of burnished brass, which is brown. So mm -hmm. they're or black men, and they have a glow about them. You got it. Right, so hey, that that's the true description of a, 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 a angel, man. But when when you look uh, in the world, what do you see, man? You see little babies with with wings, you know, naked, with with their little uh, <laughs> pinky finger hanging out, and and Esau is just perverted, man. You know why? Because he's the wicked. Mm -hmm. You know, the walkie grabbed that uh, piece up. Yeah, and the scriptures say it. Uh, this is the book of Malachi. Chapter one and verse three. And the most high said, he says, and I hated Esau and mm -hmm. laid his mountains and his heritage waste 
the dragons of wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation forever. So there it is right there. The people of Edom or Esau is the border of wickedness. They are the wicked. So when you're reading in the scriptures, it's talking about the wicked. You know, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, is, is the wicked. Okay? You got to have a good and you got to have a, uh, an, an, uh, an, an, an evil. Okay? And it's all throughout. That's the theme all throughout the scriptures. Uh, you say you got a precept of water? It's kind of... <clears throat> Uh, I actually got a couple. Uh, this is a uh, Sirach chapter 42 and verse 22. Oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spark. All these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. All things are double one against another, and he hath made nothing unperfect. So, mm -hmm. you have a nation that's made perfectly righteous, you have a nation that's made perfectly wicked. You got Jacob okay. versus Esau. You know, that's what the brother Reset of the well. out of Malachi, the first chapter. So you had a nation mm -hmm. that was made to be the uh, vessel unto honor, that being the nation of Israel. They have the other uh, nation that is made to be the vessel unto dishonor, which is the uh, the Edomites. You got it? You got, Can, a uh, you got something? Yeah, I got a quick precept. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9, and I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, and not only this. But when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to the election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. So hey, before Esau and, and Jacob were, were born, before they even came out of the womb, the Most High designated the righteous and, and the wicked and, and, and their roles that they will play out in this world, right? I got a precept. It. precept for you. I got a precept. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high, and there is mm -hmm. no else. I am the most high, and there is none like me. Declare the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is the Heavenly yeah. Father's movie. You got it. Right. Okay. I got to back you up on that. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 13. The clay, as the clay is in yeah, the potter's okay. hand. Did you start at verse 10, Mike? Yep, yep, yep. That <laughs> priest. All right. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33, verse 10. And all men are formed from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. And much knowledge of the Lord Yahweh have divided them and made their ways diverse. Some of them have he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself. Yeah, that's but, go ahead. That's the nation of Israel. Those are the ones that he uh, right. sanctified. It says some uh some of them have he blessed and exalted. That's the nation of Israel. Right. Some of them have he sanctified and set near himself. Now, just to prove that. This is the book of Psalms 148. And mm -hmm. I'm just going to hit the point. Psalms 148. Psalms 148 and verse 13. Let them praise Yahweh Bash. I'm sorry. Let them praise the name of Yahweh Bash Shimei Shai, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praising Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. See, yes. yeah. the saints of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's plain. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is uh, <laughs> hey. back in the. Oh, I just wanted to make a little yeah. comment real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lucky. Go ahead. Uh, you know, in the world, what Esau, <laughs> especially in like the movies or whatever, when you see like uh, the churches, they see the nuns, the Edomite nuns. Oh, she's such a saint. And you ain't no damn saint, man. You're a devil, right? Only saints is, is the Israelites, man. Ah. You got it, brother. Ah. Yep. Uh, reading uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 33 and 12, 
some of them has he blessed and exalted and some of them he sent he sanctified and mm -hmm. set near himself the children of israel but some of them he hath hath he cursed and brought low and turned out their places okay yes, he saw. Yes, he saw. <laughs> and it says in verse 13 as clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure so man is in the hand of him that made it to render them as liken him best so the most high decided who was going to be who okay he is the potter he controls the clay he made the clay and he can make one of righteousness and one of wickedness it's all in his hands it mm -hmm. says uh, verse uh, 14 for good is set against evil and life against death and so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly Con. could you read verse 15 yeah, yeah. No. so look upon all the works of the most high and there are two and two and one against another mm -hmm. that's that duality yeah. that's why it says uh damn it's in proverbs 11 and 1 let's see if i can grab it real quick yeah uh this is proverbs 11 and verse 1 a false balance is abominable mm -hmm. but a jump mm -hmm. weight is his delight so everything that the heavenly father creates he creates uh both sides of the of a coin you know like you got up you got down you got left you got right you got a righteous nation you got a wicked nation everything mm -hmm. that the heavenly father created has that duality you got day you got night you know everything has it, it itself and its opposite because the heavenly you got, father you got cold yep mm-hmm yeah yeah perfect balance mm -hmm. perfect balance man um yeah, so hey, with this perfect balance, we see that currently uh, we are in a wicked rulership, right? And we, we have to experience this wickedness. We have to experience what we should not live like in order to appreciate what, what, what is going to come afterwards, right? But we see that uh, during the rulership of Esau that all you see is abomination, man. You see uh, these filthy... Um, um, sodomites right that can walk free they can uh cast a stone and, and get away with it Appreciate right it. but okay, you got it bro okay uh, <clears throat> let me switch your point uh yeah basically like uh just everything that that this man has has done in, in this uh in this society for or on this earth has just been completely left-handed man and it has That's destroyed it. this earth mm -hmm. you got it yeah this is a Sirach chapter 10 and verse 1. A wise judge will instruct Ooh. people. <clears throat> it's like it. if the government government of a prudent man is well ordered, mm -hmm. as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of ruler and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And we know that Esau, like the brother ran in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So if you have the wicked rule on the earth, then hey, the vibration on the earth is going to be a vibration of wickedness. That's why you see mm -hmm. parades, you see uh, you know, these uh alphabet people getting rights and things like that. The earth is is corrupt because you have the corrupt people actually ruling, which is backwards, mm -hmm. you know. So as much as these uh devils are in that vile state, you know, they're into uh, uh pleasing their flesh and doing all kinds of wickedness, that's Hey, the same spirit that the majority of the people are in. Verse 3, an unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them that are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Verse 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Most High, and in mm -hmm. due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Because, mm -hmm. hey, Heavenly Father, he's given Esau the green light, all right? Because yep. the, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Heavenly Father. And do mm -hmm. time he was set over one that is profitable. Right now, you got an unprofitable man that's uh, ruling over the planet Earth, the wicked. But there's going to come a time where the Lord's going to get him up out of there and then replace him with uh, a ruler that's more excellent than he. That would be Yahweh Shai and the Lord's elect. All right? Okay. And uh, like Brother brought out, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. 
So this the power that this man has is not of his own will, of, of not is not of his own strength. And there's a precept that uh you know backs that up. I got can you. Find that kind. This is a uh, Revelation six and four. Also, oh, yeah. when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, "Come and see." And there went out another horse that was red as Esau, and power was given to him mm -hmm. removed from the heavenly Father. That sat there on to take peace from the earth. And I have a precept to back that up. What Yahweh said unto Pilate. Uh, let's see. This is the book of Matthew, chapter. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe it's in Luke. No, you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for a God, chapter 18, verse 36. Oh, I got it. John 19. John 19 and 8. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid and went again into the judgment hall and saith unto Yahweh Shai, Whence art thou? But Yahweh Shai gave him no answer. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee, I have power to release thee? And Pilate was an Edomite. Here it is. He boasted of his power. I have power to, to crucify mm -hmm. you. Now, basically, I got power to kill you. I can release you, you know. Verse 11, Yahweh Shai answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, mm. except it were given thee from above, meaning from mm -hmm. the Father, Yahweh. Mm, so of. everything that this devil is uh, able to do is only because the Heavenly Father gave him the power to do so. That's Therefore, right. he that delivered me unto thee, that would be the wicked Jews, had the greater sin. So, hey, the, uh, the Heavenly Father is the one that set you so up. Yeah. Right. yeah, why is the earth and ashes proud? Mm -hmm. You know, he created all of us from the ground. You know, he, he had all the powers in his hands. Mm -hmm. oh. God, I got another precept. Yep. Uh, this is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. But there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. So th this rulership, right, this was all prophesied, right, uh, in the book of Daniel, uh, the fourth beast, in uh, the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter, right? Everything was already ordained by the Heavenly Father to uh, fulfill prophecy. And it was prophesied that this man would destroy this earth. It was prophesied that that we would go into captivity and be up under a, a, a ruthless nation, right? And, and, and this man has, has ruled over us with rigor. He has ruled over this entire world with rigor, man. That's why uh, he's known as the hammer of the earth. So with all of the destruction that he has done in this earth, with all, with, <laughs> hey, the, it's getting to a point where the Heavenly Father is about to make his move, man. We can already see changes. We can already see things happening in this earth that that uh, is signs of the Heavenly Father coming back. Uh, it's a little bit more on this. Verse 2, it says, Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted, resisted the ordinance of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Now, uh, people in the church might use this. Oh, you know, you got to take that chip. You got to be subject to, you know, the higher powers. But what this is saying is you have to, uh, uh, like some precept, let's say, um, uh, basically, so I can't, I got a brain fart, but. Um, you know how it goes? Uh, I'm trying to think. It's in Matthew. Oh. It's like, let me see if I can find it. You, you know what I'm talking about? No. Huh? How does it go? Right now to hey, see. It's on the tip of my tongue, too. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Okay, come on. I got some, something else while you, you're trying to find that. Kind of, I got it. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 25. It says, Agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Right? And you got a lot of Jake out here who running from the police, right? Uh, you know, bucking up against uh, the authority 
not under, not understanding that hey, the heavenly Father puts you in that situation. Just like the brother brought up, man. There's it, these people don't have no real power. Only the power that the heavenly Father gave them. You got it, bro. Yeah. And hey, when Esau brings about that chip, that's when you hey, all bets are off. You don't follow mm -hmm. him taking that damn chip, no matter what Esau says. Right. The word the as well as it is written, we are to obey the heavenly Father rather than men. That's right. You know, so. When Esau brings about that market chip, we know that the Heavenly Father uh, told us in Revelation 13 and Revelation 14 that we are not to take that. So when Esau brings that about, don't take no damn chip. All right? Mm -hmm. When you fully unplug from the world, as it were. You know? And the Heavenly Father is going to protect us. As it is written, uh, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not upon thine own understanding. Mm -hmm. all right? um, let's see. I had a script. Did you have something to watch? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. This is Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely you're turning of things upside down. Speaking to Esau, Esau's turned everything upside down. You know, he's given uh, sodomites rights. You can be a transgender. You can be a... <laughs> oh, man. List yeah. goes on. Love. Shall be esteemed... But changed by, by e. He's changed every law. Mm -hmm. Everything that the most high say don't do, in, in, in the world we're living in, they say you can do it. Go ahead, Art. Surely you're turning of things upside down. Esau's turn all the ordinances upside down. Shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Mm. You know? So, hey, uh, and the potter's clay is, is worth nothing. So it's going to be nothing for the Heavenly Father to destroy this this uh, uh, society. You know, when the Lord, Heavenly Father gives you a shot that green light, he's going to wreck out. It's gonna take, only going to take one hour. For America to be destroyed, you know, when you look at what this devil is doing to the earth, you know, because he's turned everything upside down. Instead of him keeping the land Sabbath, he wants to constantly beat the ground, you know, and not give the land any time to rest. You know, mm -hmm. he's always thinking about uh, how can I make the most money in the least amount of time. You know, you got yeah. uh, birds dropping out the sky. You know, Kemtra. I remember just uh, it was uh, last Saturday. I woke up and I opened my window. I seen two big ass streaks of chemtrails right in the sky. Huge streaks of chemtrails. I was like, man, you... hey, and you know the guy that's just dumping them chemtrails? That got to be a wicked ass yeah. individual. Totally. Yeah, ain't shit. You know, yeah. high, it's simple. You know, he made the he made the sky and the clouds and everything beautiful. We don't need to do anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Let alone put some chemicals up there to rain down on everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that, that's the precept that oh it's locked. Go ahead. Oh, so that's the precept that the brother brought out, right? An unwise king destroyed his people. That's right. Hey, you destroying these people, man. Got them wearing face masks and <laughs> talking about uh damn coronavirus and you got chemtrails in the air. That's what they really need to be worried about, right? So everything Esau is doing right now. With the factories producing all of the chemicals and pollution mm -hmm. and 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 uh throwing trash into the oceans okay uh like i said the air is polluted the water is polluted you know you got whales beaching themselves and, and all kind of animals dying because of the oil spills he's completely destroying the earth okay and that's clear yep yeah. Yeah. He, he came in to do right. I don't know why people think that this devil is going to do something righteous. Oh, he's going he's gonna to take care of us. He's going to fix this. He's the wicked, like we've been bringing out. He's He was created to uh, to be wicked, to be unrighteous. You know, the Heavenly Father created him perfectly wicked, like we read out of the book of Sirach. So he ain't going to do nothing righteous. He's the wicked. You know, uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, and verse... Uh, Proverbs 16 and 4, Yahweh by Shem made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, that's Esau, for the day of evil. So even the wicked Esau was created to be uh, wicked. You know, like the scripture says, from the Ethiopian changed his skin or the leopard is spots. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, let me see if I can find that. In Jeremiah. I got another preset too. Uh, go ahead and grab it. Uh, this is Job chapter 14 and 
4, it says, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So Esau is an unclean uh, a person, right? Even in the law, it says that uh, his skin, right, he has leprosy, man. He's a clean leper. But ultimately, um, in the book of Habakkuk, it says his uh, his soul that uh, within him is, is not... A, you got it? Bring it out. Yeah, yeah. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is mm -hmm. not upright in him. Okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't make Esau with an upright soul. Okay? From the beginning, it says, but the just shall live by faith. Meaning that uh, the Israelites, we will live by faith. You know, mm. it says, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep of at home who mm. enlarges his desire as hell and as death and cannot be satisfied. He cannot be mm -hmm. satisfied. Ooh, can you read that verse again? Yeah. <laughs> that verse again. That, that's a meaty verse. It says, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine. Yeah, he is Esau. The yep. he mm -hmm. is Esau. And his wine is his philosophies. That's right. You got he it? is a proud man. Yeah, Esau's proud. Obadiah He's 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. It says, neither keep it at home. Yeah, that's why you got these embassies all over the, these different U.S. embassies all around the world. Army bases everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Okay. Uh -huh. All up in everybody's business. He, all the way in India, he's telling the, the people in India how to live. No, you you too strict. You can't be doing that. No, let me tell you, you got to do this. On everybody. Democracy. Mm -hmm. Democracy everywhere, trying to push that. Yeah. Yep. It's in sanction, like I said, sanctioning uh, the nations, mm -hmm. the peoples. <laughs> the police it's of the right. earth. <laughs> then he gathereth unto him all nations. I think he skipped the part. But yep. It says, uh, it says, uh, who enlarges his desire as hell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as death. Yeah, he's as death. We I mean, check out his technology. He is, is, uh, bleeds out radiation. You know, <laughs> here it is. You use yourself. Everybody. Yep. Hey, everything that he has is 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 as death. This he's the harbinger of death, as it were. That's right. Mm -hmm. And cannot be satisfied. Yep. You know, he's already mm -hmm. ruling the world in wickedness. You know, mm -hmm. he has all of the money, mm -hmm. all of the uh, uh, the armory, and and and, and the. Uh, and, and the uh, and resources the, of the earth. He has all the resources. He has the armies. He's mm -hmm. a powerful, you know, country. Yeah, and, and that's still he's not enough. Yeah. He's he trying, he trying to go out outer space. <laughs> yeah, he, he wants to plunder every nation. He wants to take the resources. That's this that we can never get enough. Mm -hmm. That's great. It says, and he put unto himself mm -hmm. all people. Mm -hmm. All people. Yeah, that's. Go ahead. Yeah, they, they want a so-called new world order. You know, he heapeth onto himself all people and, and gathereth onto himself all nations. He wants a new world order. You know, so that's the, the demented nature of this devil. You know? They have all the money. They have all the gold. They have yeah. all the resources. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough. It's not enough. And the scriptures make Damn. a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a precept. Yeah. In Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe, un, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. So this devil, hey, whenever he get a chance, man, before he go to sleep, he trying to do some wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. Right? And all because it is in the power of his hand. That Heavenly Father gave him the power to spread that wickedness. We know that through uh, First Maccabees, right? The first chapter. Right when uh, Alexander came into power, right, and and he gave, he passed down his his rulership to the four generals, and and what wickedness or iniquity increased in the earth. So how much more when these Edomites is is, is fully set in power, man? They can write legislation, uh, make executive orders, you know. It says, um, and they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. So, <laughs> hey, hey, man, he'll take your socks if he could, man. You know, this <laughs> devil, he, back you up on that. <laughs> God, he don't want you to have nothing, man. He wants everything God. to himself. He wants all the gold to himself. This devil don't even wear gold, man, but he want it. Mm -hmm. He just don't want you to have it, man. 
right? That's it. It's uh, uh, one more precept. Yeah, uh, a, a verse. Verse 3 it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go hauntily, for this time is evil. So the Heavenly Father has a snare for you, devils, man. Right? And and you're going to walk right into it. You're going to think everything is la-di-da. Everything is, uh, you know, going how it's supposed to. And then you're going to get trapped up. You got it, bro. Yeah, real quick. Uh, uh, Book of Proverbs chapter 4. Uh, chapter 14 it says enter not into the path of the wicked and go not the way of evil men avoid it pass not by it turn from it and pass away it says for they sleep not meaning esau except they have done mischief mm. okay and their sleep is taken away unless they can cause someone to fall <laughs> damn <laughs> damn <laughs> that was fired I mean, that, that's, that's his nature right there. The scriptures is making it plain. You know, they, 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 you, you know, the, uh, you had Gad here in the land over here in the Americas living peacefully. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau, he comes over here. They didn't even know how to live off the land. Okay. They taught them how to live, taught them how to uh, plant food and survive. And then what they do, turned around and slaughtered them, killed them. Destroy them. I heard a priest to back you up. Yep. This is Job 24 and 1. Why saying times are not hidden from the Almighty? Will they that know him not see his days? Some remove the landmarks. They violently take away flocks and feed the rough. Talking about Esau. All right. Esau, when he came over, he took the land from Gad. You know, took what they had, killed them. You know. Here it is. They had the nerve to set up Christopher Columbus statue. What are you com uh, commemorating? They mm -hmm. give him a Christopher Columbus Day. What are you celebrating? You know, in fact, when you go into the history of, of Thanksgiving, which is really Thanksgiving, really they were celebrating the, the the slaughter of Gad. And in fact, there wasn't just one Thanksgiving. They were having multiple different uh, days of commemorating them killing the Gadites. It was multiple different so-called Thanksgivings. But then they ended up reducing it to just one time a year. You know, so this nature always has had a history of commemorating wickedness. All right. Verse two, some remove the landmarks. They violently take away flocks and feed thereof. It's like what they do to Gad when he came over here. <clears throat> violently took away what they had, took their land, you know, and, and, and put their own name on it. Oh, it's America now. You know, verse three, they drive away the ass of the fatherless. They take the widow's ox for a pledge. Yeah, that's what they did. They came over here and took they, their, their livestock, took their animals, all right? Like the buffalo. That's right. You know, hey, these, these devils have a, a, a history of being nothing more than a thief, you know? Uh, let's see. Verse, I'm going to hop down to verse 7. They caused the naked to lodge without clothing, that they have no covering in the cold. And a great example of that is with the trail of tears. You know, having Gad march all the way down to, uh, damn, what was it? I think it was the Mississippi, if I'm not mistaken. But it basically, they had to take a long ass trip because these people are basically kicking, up, kicking them out of their own land. You know, here it is. They were dying. They were crying. They were uh, hungry. They have food, no shelter, barely any clothes. You know, that's the nature of this devil. And people still think that this devil deserves mercy. You know, mm -hmm. you got it. Crazy, crazy. You know the ox. Yeah. You, you brought out how, uh, you know, thank goodness for you how about Shimei Shai, okay? Because the earth and 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 the people we need everything needs rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says uh, this is the book of Psalms chapter nine and verse sixteen. The Lord Yahweh is known by the judgment which He executed. Mm -hmm. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Mm. Hey, that's telling you right there that even though Esau is here doing all this wickedness and he thinks he's going to get away with it, the lawyer, how about Shimei Ashai, he has a plan, okay? And everything that they're doing is working right into his plan. He's going to deal with them. It says in chapter uh, verse uh, 17, and the wicked shall be turned into hell 
and all the nations that forget the most high. So Esau for sure has, is not thinking about the most high because he thinks he is the most high. Okay. Going around plundering nations and attacking everybody and going through and all of the chemtrails and the GMO foods and the, uh, the like we said, the, the water and the land is all polluted. Okay, you know, you how about Shimei Asha? He has to come back to put a stop to this. Sorry. Go ahead, Ah. Had another script. Did you have some, Yeah, I got some. Okay, go ahead. You bring yours up. You sure? Um, I'll bring it up. Okay. This is Isaiah fourteen and four. It says that thou shalt take up this pro uh, proverb against the king of Babylon and say, "How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased." Right now, you can see that this place is crumbling, man. You know, this place is uh is not the good old great America that it once was, right? right? The American dream is now a nightmare, right? Uh you have a lot of people on the streets homeless, begging for money, change just to survive and eat. And and people just walk and 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 you know, freelance like as as if nothing is, is wrong with this place, man. It says the Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is per uh, persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. So <laughs> when this devil goes out of power, man, you're going to hear birds singing. You're going to hear trees whistling. Everything is going to be perfect, man. Because uh, this devil, hey, everybody, everything is tense right now. Everything is 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 you know in a um uh, a broken down state but the heavenly father is about to rebuild this earth man and and edomites is not going to be there at their thousand years of our rulership um last pre uh, last verse it says yeah the fir trees rejoice at thee in the ciders of lebanon saying since thou art laid down no feller has come up against us it says the the trees are going to rejoice so Mm -hmm. a feller, a feller is someone that he was down a tree, you know, so there ain't yeah. no more deforestation because under mm -hmm. the rulership, he's been cutting down uh, uh, tons of trees, deforesting, and a lot of which he does unnecessarily, you know, so there ain't going to be no more fucking deforestation in our kingdom. These trees are actually going to be able to thrive and to uh, flourish, you know, and be within their order. So it's not going to be as Esau when he's, you know, just chopping shit down for no apparent reason. Ain't gonna be no type of deforesting or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. Concrete. Oh my goodness. Concrete. I got a quick precept. Quick precept. Mm -hmm. That's the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Okay, look around. You got everybody walking around with masks. Everybody's angry. Everybody is upset. Everybody's on the edge. You know, you got people uh, uh, filing for unemployment, over 40 million people. You know, people, like we said, are, are, are uh, more homeless people now than ever before. Okay, this, this thing is totally turned upside down. The mm -hmm. wicked have to be ruling. Okay? Because if the righteous, as the scriptures say, was ruling, we would rejoice. We don't have anything to rejoice about. Mm-hmm. Out of script. Yep. This is Psalms uh, 55 and verse 19. The most high shall hear and afflict them, even he that abideth, abideth of old, Salah. Because they have no changes, therefore they fear not the most high, because Esau ain't going through anything. Mm. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Like God, mm -hmm. God gave him uh, some land to live on. God was giving him gifts and, and basically trying to uh, coexist with Esau. What does he do? He turns around and, and pulls out his sword to cut him down. That's right. He has broken his covenant. He's broken over 500 plus peace treaties with the native tribes that are already over here. And yet you still got Jake that's trying to join hand in hand with Esau. Verse 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords because they're liars. And you know what proves that that's talking about Esau? This is the book of uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, just to prove that that's talking about Esau, which just by reading that, you know, it's talking about the so-called white man. That's right. 
This is a first Maccabees one and thirty. Um, let me see. Actually, let me, let me start at verse. Uh, I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna hop down. First Maccabees one and verse one, and it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, has smitten Darius, king of Persia of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. Talking about Alexander the Great. So this mm -hmm. is the beginning of the Greeks coming into power. I'm up down to verse 29. And after two years fully uh, expired, the king sent his chief collector of tribute onto the city. And this king would be that devil Antiochus, all right, Antiochus IV. And after two years fully expired, the king sent his chief collector of tribute onto the cities of Judah, who came onto Jerusalem with a great multitude and spake peaceable words unto them, mm -hmm. for all was deceit. Deceit. Because Esau's the devil. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, mm -hmm. yet were they drawn swords. Mm -hmm. So that's an example of, of uh, Esau being deceitful with his tongue. You got it? And uh, precept in the pro um, Proverbs says, the Heavenly Father hates a lying tongue, man. Mm -hmm. So you devils have done so much lying. Hey, you, hey the scriptures say your sins have reached the heavens, man. So there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. There's no amount of Edomites on their knees licking boots that can stop the judgment that, that you're going to get. But like we uh, brought out earlier, the power is given into the hands of the wicked so they can do these things. Uh, I got a precept. If anybody don't got a precept. Yeah. Kind of, uh, <clears throat> this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, because sentence against... An evil work is not executed speedily. There, uh, therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So because they don't get punished like uh, we get punished, right? They eat pork. They don't get diabetes and gout and you know, all different types of diseases and health issues, right? Uh, shrimp and lobster or whatever. You know, they might get overweight, right? But, hey, Jake out here struggling when they eat these different uh, uh, unclean foods, right? Um, yeah, even so, when they murder, right? You got something? Yeah, it says that the judgment is executed speedily. So because they don't see the Heavenly Father judging them immediately after they do mm -hmm. this, they, they become uh, proud. No, oh, the Heavenly uh -huh. Father ain't get me. Yeah, he ain't going to get me. But the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. Father he's just long-suffering. So exactly. he let your wickedness build up. Then he's going to come down crashing on you with uh, heavy judgment. You know? This is uh, a little bit more out here. Hey, go ahead. Uh, verse 12, it says, though a sinner do evil and hundred times in his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. So it's going to be well with the men, uh, 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 especially uh, first and foremost, the elect, right? Because we have been drafted into this gospel through the fear of the Lord, right? We have received faith through the hearing of the word. And, and we gain that, we regain that fear that we lost, right? Because in the world, you don't have the fear of the most high. You, you hear, come as you will or come as you are, right? God loves everybody. You would be a, a murderer and a, everything up under the sun and he'll accept you. All you have to do is repent in the name of Jesus, right? But when you come into this truth, you understand, okay, I have to fear the Lord. I got to keep the commandments to the best of my ability. Um, verse 13, it says, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not the most high. So, hey, it's not going to be well with Esau, man. You don't fear the Lord. Your days is like a shadow. It's going, it's here and, and it's going to be gone, man. You got it, bro. Yep. I got a real, real quick script. Okay. This, is, uh, this is the book of Romans. Chapter 9 and verse 21. It says, Have not the potter, it says, Have not the power, a potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel of honor and another of dishonor, meaning uh the uh the Israelites is the, the vessels of honor, and the Esau and the Edomites are the vessels of dishonor. It says, What if the most high willing to show his wrath? And to make his power known, endure it with much long suffering. See, there's that long suffering. The vessels 
of wrath fitted for destruction. So Esau and the Edomites is fitted for the day of wrath, fit for the day of destruction. Okay. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which is the Israelites, which he had afore prepared unto glory. So before he let Esau uh, rule, he's ruling now. He'd already said it for the Israelites to rule in the end. Okay. This is just temporary. Esau is just ruling for a moment. Okay. As the scriptures say, he, he has a bounds he cannot pass. And thank goodness for, for the Israelites and for the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, everything would be destroyed if he was able to continue to rule. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No flesh would be left to be saved. That's right. Uh, this is Psalm 73 and verse 6. Break their teeth, milling their Esau's military might. O Yahweh, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions. That's the military. Oh, Yahweh Baal Shimei Awashai. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. What's going to cause them to melt away? Those missiles, you know? Mm -hmm. When he bendeth his bow, that's the silo, to shoot his arrows, that's the missiles, let them be as cut in pieces. As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous, that's the elect, shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. So the elect are going to rejoice when they see the great destruction that the Heavenly Father is going to bring upon this place. All right? Yeah. When Esau gets judged. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, meaning truly, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judgeth in the earth. So Esau, he's, he's set up to be judged, all right, by the Lord Yahweh Shai when he comes back. The same one that gave Esau his blessing, which is his sword, that would be Isaac, which was Yahweh Shai also, all right, and he's the same one that's going to revoke his rulership, the same one who set him up. Is the same one that's going to uh, knock him down. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can grab our closing precepts. Okay. Uh, you want to start off in the what? Uh, I have something to it. I got it. You got something? All right, bring it up. This is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not. The thief is Esau. <laughs> it's self explanatory. <laughs> he stole his name, he stole fucking everything. <laughs> You got something, you sure? I got something back you up too. Right, go ahead. You want to finish that? Okay. The thief cometh not before to steal. He, he stole America. It's a kill. He slaughtered the Gadites. Stole us. Mm -hmm. You know, he yeah. stole us. Yeah. He alone, stole us from the West Coast of Africa. Stole us from the different places where we were scattered. Stole us and brought us up over here. And to destroy. That's his whole MO. To steal and to kill and to destroy. Mm -hmm. I am come that they might might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So Esau's whole purpose is to steamroll over people. Take what you got to Debo you, if you will. <laughs> Take your, your goods, your possessions, throw you into slavery and just to, uh, basically to destroy, to rape, rob, and murder. But the Heavenly Father is going to uh, put a cease to all those things, starting with when Yahweh Shah returns. You got it. Yeah, this is a uh, piece of just back you up real quick. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 8. Ooh. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So, hey, all of the unrighteous acts that this devil has done, right? Hey, it's going to be, uh, tr this, the kingdom is going to be transferred, like the brother brought out earlier, to a, one that is more profitable for the earth, right? And that's the Israelites, starting with Yahweh Shah, man. Um, you want to grab your precept in the walk? I'm good. Go ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, this is uh, Revelation chapter 11, and I'm gonna start at verse 16. It says, And the four and twenty elders which sat before the Most High on their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped the Most High, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord, Yahweh, power almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. Verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they shall be judged, and that 
and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy service, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So, hey, we're, we're coming into this, um, what you could call a payday, man, right? The Heavenly Father is about to uh, uh, deliver his elect, right? He's about to destroy Esau because of what he has done on this earth. And, and it's all just a matter of time, man. That's pretty much it. Bill, is there anything else? That's it. All right, so with that, we will give all praises on honors and all glories unto Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh. Hashem. Noble honors to our elders and our apostles of Great Millstone that do any will. This blessings and salutations be unto the elect, the elect of the one third. Pray you brothers and your few sisters were edified. Till next time we say Shalom. 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 We off now. Still off. Shit. I don't know. Damn, it is. It's still going. I have no idea why it's doing that.